Hello you guys! Welcome back to my channel. It is October, which means it's my favorite holiday of the year. This is my favorite holiday. This is the holiday that I usually go all out for. I always throw my Halloween parties. I was seriously debating that earlier this year if I even wanted one, but we are. So I ordered a bunch of Halloween decoration. I wanted to unbag them, show you guys the haul that I got. Got a bunch of stuff from Amazon, Target, um, all that good stuff. So let's get to it. So I bought these off of Facebook Marketplace. Cute little mirror with some really cool skull looking things. Um, and then a candle holder skull thing too, which is really good. I got this for 20 bucks. The lady was selling it for 40, so I got it off for a really good deal for both of these. And these are really good, um, good quality too. Anyway, um, my thing this year is a witch lair. Um, usually every year I just go for like a spooky theme, you know, the orange, the cute little pumpkins, whatever. But this year I kind of wanted to go go with something a little more creepy, a little more horror, you know? So that's what we're gonna do. So that's that. Um, let's take a look what's in here first. I know I ordered a bunch of crap and I didn't think they're gonna come in so early, but let's see. So, oh yeah, my LED candles. I got the small ones. Oh gosh, they better not be colorful like this because I wanted it just like a simple white color you know i was thinking of doing like floating candles oh so these are my red candles Whew, okay so i ordered red candles that's what we're gonna do i have a fireplace mantle and that's what's gonna go my counter and my my kitchen counter is just right off of the right off of the living room area so it'll be really visible i bought a wig for my witch costume so I'm excited to try that today. I bought some black cloth to kind of hang on the walls to make it look more, you know, dreary and weird looking. I don't know. I kind of want to go for horror more than so spooky, like I said earlier. But we'll see if I'll be able to pull it off. I was thinking of looking into like some bloody stuff too, but I couldn't find anything that matched what I was kind of looking for, if that makes sense. I don't want to go too gruesome, you know, because I'm mean, a witch slayer. So I was looking for more like an herbal um, type kind of theme. Some cauldron, smoke. If you guys have seen the movie Hansel and Gretel with um, that dude, that Hawkeye dude in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I I'm going for that kind of theme, you know, the scary witches and stuff. What's this? What is this? What is this? Oh! This is my little... This is my mortar and pestle. I think that's how you say it. I bought a black one. I think it'd be really cute for like a little like table where I'm gonna put my grimoire and like right next to my big cauldron. A cute little, um, the little that's what goes in. I was gonna put like some random herbs in here just for show, you know, I thought, wow, this is pretty cool. It's cute too. And I could definitely reuse this for like my other stuff too, for the kitchen. Great, that's great. Okay, and it's so heavy. It's like full on stone. Anyway. Okay, this next Amazon box, let's see what's here. Okay, this is plastic cloths so I can put them on the tables, the beer, I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on the beer pong table, but we shall see. I may, I might even put these on the kitchen counters and the walls, but like uh, 12 packs each. Got some cute little bats. I think this is pretty neat. I'll probably hang these up or put them against the wall. Cool. Green face makeup because I'm going to go all green for my witch costume. What is this? Flameless candle lights. These are probably the other red ones. I'm not sure if these are the regular simple white color. I'm not, I don't remember if I ordered just red or white. I'm not sure. White. These are white. 
It's funny because every freaking year I always like buy rebuy them all the time. Like I, I these are the only candles that I do not know how to take care of. I lose them. After a party, I'm like, okay, just throw everything in the trash. But I'm just like, okay, I should really reuse it. And I store it away and then I just I never find it again. It's lost in storage. And then if one day I'm going through my Christmas to decoration and boom it's there i'm just like what the hell but anyway i have another amazon box let's put it here i think this is going to be more of the black cloth because i wanted most of my walls to be black and covered you know oh okay so these are my mini string lights these are the red ones i, I got like a really like dark um, color to make sure it goes with the theme because that's gonna be pitch black so I wanted to add a little bit of some red colors purple colors you know um, what is this more mini lights I think these are gonna be purple or red I'm right. red this is red okay um, let's see Halloween pendants What's this? oh so this is my Wait, is this bright? Yeah, it is bright. Okay, so with the witch theme, you can never go wrong with potion bottles. So that's what I bought. I bought some potion bottles. These cute little glass ones with like some cute little labels on them. I'm gonna paint them a little bit, make them a little black to make it look like it's like old and used, you know? So that's what we're gonna do. They come in different sizes as well, just not this tiny one. Let me see if I can pull out some other ones. These are really cute. I actually saw some really big ones at Michael's the other day, and my husband, Bang, was like, Ooh, what about this? What about that? You should get this. I'm just like, Oh, honey, that's too big. I kind of wanted just something for the that would match the pesto and mother thing. Look at that. That's so cute. And I just need to wrap it in stickers, and it's ready to go. So there's that. It's kind of. It comes in a really small box. I thought there would be more. I remember saying that there's gonna be 50 pieces in here. Maybe there are 50 pieces in here. I'm just not reading. Uh, more cloth. More cloth. All different kinds of uh, texture and cutting line and all that good stuff. So I'll add those. Um, what is this? Oh, and then I got like some white cloth as well. These are the stringy white ones that look like webs, but they're gonna be. I'm gonna put that just right over the entrance way. I got some stickers for my window, some scary ones, some creepy ones, like some black widows and weird looking scary webs, that stuff. So, more green face makeup, cause I bought some random witchy book just to put it on my mantle so it looks like, you know, like the aesthetic. Some fake candles, witchy ones too, really cool. Got some eyeballs um, to make sure that goes with um, my potion making, water, all that stuff. I bought two really cool broomsticks. These are gonna go at the door. Let's see. Some skulls. I'll do with that. And a welcome sign. I think I'm gonna put this in the kitchen. And then, well, I bought some really cool like stands that I can put somewhere. somewhere. Um, I bought some feathers. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hang this in my kitchen and make it look, I'm going to hang it upside down like this to make it look like it's a bunch of like herbal stuff just hanging in the ceilings and in the kitchen and stuff. I was thinking of hanging some like on top of the cauldron too. I think that's really cool. Now I bought some weird looking fern to go with the cauldron. This is probably gonna go in the potion um, book area. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, here. And then I bought some Thanksgiving, you know, like pines and little nuts and stuff. I thought this would be a great addition to what I was trying to aim for. So that's what I'm gonna do too. I got a magical orb because, I mean, come on. I gotta, tell, I gotta be able to tell the future. And then I got I I got these really cool skull stuff with like fake moss on them, little holes. I think, I think you put a candle in here, but I'm probably not gonna do that. I'm probably gonna put something else in here, maybe like a skeleton. We shall see. We'll see how the whole thing pans out. But 
have a pretty good idea on what I'm gonna do. Sheen is a great place to buy a bunch of like small miscellaneous decoration stuff that you want to add. So that's what I did. I uh, actually spent about a good hundred bucks on a bunch of other crap too. So I got these, oh you can't see, the glare. Maybe I can show you guys. So I got some really cool fake plants. This is like, a, it's a black and a dark red type kind of thing. I think it'd be really cool. This, I'm gonna put these in like its own little vase and like spread it out sporadically throughout the house to make it look, you know, e. um, Got some lights. These are hand lights. I thought these would be cool, like right over the cauldron or like um, maybe the fireplace. That would be cool. Got some eyeball lights. I'm gonna put these in the garlands that I got with us. I got these creepy looking tree vines that I'm also gonna put in a vase. Um, this is my garland. I'm actually gonna put this probably in the food table area or in the counter. So let's see. Oh, I got a skull with a really cool snake on it. I think that'd be really good on my fireplace mantle or maybe in the food table. I think that'd be really cool. Got a skeleton, yoga, doing, I don't know, meditating or something. I thought that was cool. See, this was only like $4 off a of Shein. I thought that was really cool. Oh, it is in the skull. This one's a little bit scarier. I got a skull, a rotten skull with a little pumpkin hat. That was cool. Now, this is the ultimate jacket liner. Mm-hmm. So that is it, you guys, for my Halloween haul. Let's put this all together and we'll see what we get, okay? Awesome. Okay, you guys, I am officially done with my decorations. A big spider. I really, this is how I set up my, my fireplace mantle. I have some real candles in there. I actually bought this from our wedding, but decided to keep a box because, you know, why not? It's really pretty. I went for a which layer but after sending the official finished decorations my sister said it looked more like a seance or like a haunted house so i'm like okay all right i'll work with that this is my little cauldron area my grimoire that i made really cool stuff and then this is just a little kitchen area here in this counter i did a little little decorative counter area. I thought it'd be really cool too. And these are actual real roses. These are dead. I was gonna trash them but I decided to use it because it would go really good with the theme. And then a little hallway, my room, bathroom. I did a little um, entrance thing here. I thought it'd be really cool. And then here are my staircase. I just did a little black thing and added some lights on there. So I thought that'd be really cool. So this is it, this is the finishing touches. Really excited. Oh, and then I also added some spider webs on the ceilings. I thought that'd be really cool to do.